Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jeff. I actually had to reshoot this because um, you know I'm a member of Reddit on Chinese Watches, one of the subreddits on there. You know, I was calling this a presidential, and everyone corrected me that this is um, actually called a date just. So I wanted to reshoot this. But yeah, you know, this watch here. I know a lot of people. Some people hate them. Some people love them. Some people say the fluted bezel. This fluted bezel is just too much, way too blingy. But me personally, I like these watches. I always have. I remember my father, um, you know, he wears these. He would wear some of like the Seiko versions of these date just. And um, yeah, I like them. I think especially too, if you're kind of a watch collector, or watch enthusiast, it's kind of nice to have some different type of watches, you know, something other than divers. And this is a, it's a cool watch. So let me go over the measurements. It's uh, 40 millimeters in diameter. It's about 12 and a half millimeters thick. So I think it's pretty good, you know, it's not the thinnest, but it's not the thickest. It's pretty, pretty thin, pretty slender. And the uh, lug, lug to lug is uh, 47 and a half millimeters. And um, lug width right here is 21 and it tapers all the way down to about 15.3 I measured. And then this class is about 17 and a half uh, millimeters wide. And yeah, this particular one here, I got it on the Jubilee bracelet. You could get them on the president's bracelet too, president bracelet with the kind of a three link design, but I, I think I'm starting to like this Jubilee more. I have one watch with the president, a president bracelet, and I think I just prefer the Jubilee, honestly. And uh, yeah, this is a really nice watch. I think it's probably one of the best uh, homages of this date just or the president style. This uh, San Martin, I think is really well done. I believe they call this one white, but it's really like if you look at it, to me it seems silver, but it is kind of a little bit of a pearly whiteness to it, but I would really consider this silver, but I believe um, they show this on, on AliExpress as the white version. And this one here I got off eBay. It came up on eBay for $215, and I just instantly bought it. I'm not exactly sure what movement is in here, but I believe it, I, it feels like it, to me it's the PT5000, it feels like. And uh, yeah, this has screw links. The screw links are pretty high quality, easy to work with. Sometimes the screws can be a nightmare, you know, if they're not high quality screws, but these were good. These were pretty easy to work with. And um, yeah, it has a Rolex style class. Little spring action there. And yeah, it has the little, um, the little snap extension. Which, you know, I guess it's nice that it's there, but it's really not that usable. Like, I actually kind of wish somehow they could do something like that that was more functional. Because I could show you, if you put it on wrist here, got a nice fit right there. Nice fit, snug. And then let's say I go and open that up, snap that open. Yeah, it's a bit little too loose. I wish it was kind of somewhere in between that. Makes it a little too loose there. But yeah, I guess it could be could be useful if you know your wrist was wet and you wanted to just kind of air it out, give it a little room, some space for a little bit. Yeah, this fluted bezel. I'm not sure if this is polished or some kind of plating. I've heard that the Kronos version has, um, it's plated. I wouldn't be surprised if this is plated as well. It looks very similar, but I'm not sure. People have asked me too, are these uh, middle links here, are they polished or chromed? And honestly, I'm not 100% sure. I'm a watch enthusiast, not an expert. Maybe you guys could tell me down in the comments section what you've heard or what you can tell by looking at this. There's the back of the links. There's the front of the links. All I know is that me and my wife have, uh, you know, worn these. I have um, some different versions of this one. My wife has a two-tone and all the finishing seems to be holding up pretty well. But okay guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some other shots of this thing. Okay, here's a closer look here of the dial of the watch. As you can see, the indices are really well done. And the minute track marks the minutes and, you know, the five minute increments at each of the indices. 
Uh, you can see that sun sunburst of effect is really good. They've done a nice job on the bezel. Just for comparison, I'll pull out this uh, Duca president. And you know, these here are around $75 to $90. So you could see a comparison of them too, of the two side by side. You could see a big difference in the bezel, like on the San Martin, all the edges look a lot sharper and crisper on the bezel. This bezel is just much softer, thicker. You can see uh, the, the lines just aren't as sharp. And then the overall dial quality too, it just looks like a more expensive dial on the San Martin as opposed to the Duca, you know, it just doesn't have that kind of the detail in that sunburst like this one has. And you can see the thickness too. Let me go on this side. This one is a lot thicker. It just overall doesn't seem as refined as the San Martin. And this is signed with the San Martin Shark. Solid in links. Rolex style case back. All right, yeah, I wanted to give you guys some close up on this dial so you could really take a good look at it. But yeah, this dial is just incredibly well done. I mean, look at that sunburst effect. Just a very rich dial. You can see the date window has a pretty good amount of magnification. To me, it seems centered pretty well. Yeah, the date window seems pretty good. If you could see under there, you could see how it looks normally. Yeah, the sapphire. It's a flat sapphire, just slightly raised over the bezel. And yeah, it's just a really beautiful looking watch, honestly, if you're into the style. All right, guys, I wanted to give you some uh, outdoor shots. Kind of a windy day. Out here in Southern California, got some beautiful clouds out here. But yeah, let me give you a shot of this watch on wrist. Yeah, to me it looks really nice. I mean, this is something great to just switch it up sometimes, especially if you've got a collared shirt on. You know, a lot of times you all see younger people that are more into that kind of urban, urban style. And you know, you could wear something like this too. If you wanted to just wear this with a t-shirt, some shorts, you know, it's a free country. You could do whatever you want. You could pull this off if you wanted to with just about any outfit. But definitely more suited for, you know, a little bit something more formal, a little dressier collar shirt on. This would be the best kind of best thing. just to close this video out I think that this is um, probably the best present homage on the market I also have the Kronos the Kronos uh, version and they're very close but I think it's subjective I just think that the this logo I really like the San Martin hexagon logo to me the logo uh, on here sets it apart from the Kronos, but you know, it's really up to you. They're very similar, but I give a slight edge to this uh, San Martin. I think if you're into the president watch, presidential style, this is pretty much as good as it gets, other than having a real Rolex.